Witam wszystkich, ja jestem Krwawy Joe. Kontynuujemy naszą przygodę w Call of Cthulhu. Tym razem w ciele... W ciele pani doktor. Próbujemy mm, znaleźć dowody na bestialskie eksperymenty, które prawdopodobnie są przeprowadzane przez em, głównego lekarza tego instytutu. Nazwisk i imion, jak zwykle nie pamiętam. Ale to już moja domena w zasadzie, więc wejść do gabinetu Fullera. Będziemy chcieli, żeby te dowody zyskać. Rozejrzymy się oczywiście. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Czyżby powoli. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Tak, czyżby powoli udawało nam się tak jakby odkryć em, co się mniej więcej dzieje na wyspie tak naprawdę, chociaż jakie są połączenia tego z, e, ze śmiercią e, Hawkinsów. Hey Fever, what's he doing here? Doctor. Please, uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Oh, how hard. Oh. Nurse, Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Może później nam dzięki temu ten człowiek pomoże w czymś, oby. Ona się chyba tym będzie teraz zajmować, więc możemy odejść. Bardzo ciekawa, wciągająca jest ta historia. Dawno mnie nie wciągnęła przygodówka w taki sposób. Ah, What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. I'll just sleep a bit more. Okay. Mrs. Sanders? To też tutaj jest? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Akta opisują stan, w jakim Irene Sanders została przyjęta do Instytutu Riverside, a także leczenie, jakiemu ją poddawano. Fuller dopisał odręcznie, że zaleca przeniesienie kobiety na oddział psychiatryczny w celu zapewnienia jej ciszy i spokoju. Oh. Ten Fuller, kurde, tak troszkę coś... <śmiech> kombinuje za bardzo, co, co nie? What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room, not where okay. I expected to find it. No spoko, nie weźmiesz go, rozumiem. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Wszyscy kurde tabletki przeciwsenne, znaczy Boże przeciwsenne, nasenne mają w, u siebie w domu. 
Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. Sure. Nie mogę się ruszyć. His binds left bloody wounds. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? <laughs> Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Za drogi. No, tutaj widzieliśmy, możemy tylko raz wybrać opcję. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know. We can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words. So we're not budging. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. Kuchnia. Kto wie? Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Jeszcze żebym się znał na jedzeniu, nie? Watch out for the water, doctor. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Dr. Colden? Medycyna. Ale chyba już znamy tą książkę. Tu byliśmy, nie? To jest psychiatryk chyba? Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. 
We're lacking in qualified personnel, and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Jakieś niesnaski. Dodatkowo. W ogóle ten szpital. Ale takie kiedyś były, kurde, chyba szpitale, nie wiem. W nie najlepszym stanie. Nieraz. Rudera wręcz. Ale rozglądam się jak to detektyw, żeby coś znaleźć. Może. Znów medycyna, ale nie dodało nam punkta. I have little time for you, doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Of course. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Co za łajza. Odwróć uwagę do nowa. No można odciąć wodę, rozumiem, tak? Ach, co za łajza. Dobra, pogadamy jeszcze tutaj z ludźmi. Jeśli da się. Zaraz rozkwienię tą wodę. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Tak, no... <coughs> no wiem, że muszę teraz ten klucz dopiero Where wziąć. Where did my fiancé go? Ale widzę tutaj naszego kolegę. Ethan. Marie, I. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake. 
every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Dr. Colden. Hmm, pójdziemy po ten klucz i odetniemy tą wodę w takim razie, jeśli można. Pogadałem już chyba z każdym. To było gdzieś tam. Tylko, że ta baba tutaj jest któraś. Może nie przykłuka. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. No time. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. Gdzie to boiler room teraz? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Yeah, spoiler. No, nie gadaj. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Kurde, myślałem, że ktoś tu leży, nie? Ach. Kościół, weź mi pomóż. Uh, storage room teraz? Jakieś narzędzie, kurde. Tutaj go nie ma. To jest łazienka w ogóle. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Christa. Dobra, storage room chyba w takim razie, bo... Administracja? Aha, to jest to, dobra. Weź jakieś coś... Tutaj co? Znajdź narzędzie. Tam był woźny jeszcze chyba. Może już sobie poszedł. Stawiam, że gdzieś tam to będzie. Tylko kurde. W którą stronę? O, jest tutaj, to znaczy, że tam się chyba da przejść, tylko muszę znaleźć to pomieszczenie teraz.
Tu jest storage room, to zerknę jeszcze, ale tu raczej nic nie było. Jest. Wiedziałem. Okej, okay, okej, okay, okej, okay, okej. Okay. To gdzieś będzie. Gdzie to jest, kurwa? Można biegać w sumie. Ale nie klimatycznie jest biegać. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Dobra, ta, ta stoi tam. Gdzie ona jest? Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Okay, ona idzie ją zająć. Jeszcze tam nie ma, dobra. At last, the missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal syndrome, of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Zaburzenia psychiczne wiążące się z kontaktem z dziełami sztuki. Wow. Naprawdę jest coś takiego? Something is wrong with these masks. It's some sort of puzzle. No teraz jeszcze zagadkę, powaga. I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right. <sighs> Można to otworzyć. Jeszcze tylko zobaczę, czy tutaj coś mogę wziąć. Tu mogę otworzyć. So. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient. Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? First, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Kiedyś też to były czasy, że ta medycyna jeszcze raczkowała i różne sposoby były dziwne. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. To jest ten, czy to nie jest czasami kapitan statku? Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It's fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set them all in the basement. 
when all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Why is Ethan on medication? Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. I should go another way. No, tak, to dobrze, dobrze. Dobrze, dobrze. No to bym jak ktoś mógł zobaczyć, nie? No, nieźle. Tak na początek, nie? Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go! Rescue the doctor! Thank you, Drake. No, proszę. Co się dzieje? Jaka wizja? Czy ta wizja była prawdziwa? Wygląda na to, że tak. Przynajmniej tym się kieruje nasz główny bohater.
I pray that Colden is really here and alive. Zobaczymy w następnym odcinku.